Alrighty, here we go, buds. I'm back. Yeehaw. And I also got some McDonald's. I got a number nine meal. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Today I'm gonna do a story time about my first time smoking. Yeah, first time at the dungeon. But I haven't even smoked yet. Okay, that's a lie. I smoked earlier, probably like an hour ago on the live. And so I'm like kind of feeling good, but I got some new weed last night from the dispo, so I'm gonna try that out. Gotta get the weed bag, of course. <laughs> But anywho, this happened last time. I forgot that I'm not on live and I can actually show shit. So yay. But I got some Grass Valley All Natural Farms. Jack Rare and Eighth. Is that how you say it? Jack Rare. Jack Rare. Jack. I don't know how to say words. <laughs> I'm excited to try this. So yeah, hopefully it treats me good. Do I have anything in here already? I'm glad that y'all liked the last YouTube video. It seemed like you did from what I've seen so far. I don't know if I'm gonna come up with a regular posting schedule. If y'all would like me to, let me know in the comments and like what specific days, how many times a week y'all would want. Cause honestly, I feel like if I wanted to like two times a week, I could. Like I don't think filming and editing would be that much of an issue. I think the real issue would be trying to figure out what to actually do. Like content, I don't know if I can come up with this much content. But I don't know, I just, I need to just watch like other weed tubers and see what they are putting out there. I had a little bit left um, from last night, so I was just grinding that up and I'm gonna put it back in the jar. That's supposed to go in two. And then I'll try the new, the weed that I got. I hope I'm centered. If not, I hope y'all are just dealing with it. Alrighty get a new grinder this one's kind of i don't know it's fine it does it does the job it's just i need just i don't need a new one i just need to clean it Ooh, dang oh look at these cute little buds little tiny buds all right put that in the grinder i hope this video is long enough i've been like thinking the story over in my head and i wrote down some notes just because i feel like i'm gonna forget certain details as this goes on i don't know hopefully this is a decent amount of footage <laughs> i also just cleaned my bong right before this so yay I feel like it takes me centuries to grind weed. I just be sitting over here, time be going by. The world just keeps spinning, but I just stay here grinding my herbs. <laughs> That's good enough. Oh. oh, this weed's fluffy. It's bouncy. It's. Mm. Oh my gosh. The smell, I don't hate it, but it's so different. I don't even know how to describe it. Got the nice clean bowl again. So perfect, so pristine. Alrighty, let's load her up. Alrighty, she's loaded. She is packed and ready to go. Yeehaw. And now my fingers are all keefy. Do I not have a lighter? Are you fucking kidding me? I got the lighter. It has like smoke on it. She be doing, she be doing vape tricks. Yeah, first fucking rip. So let's go, homies. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm good now. Now that I'm fucking juicy. It's time to get on with the story time. First time getting high. 
first time smoking that good ganja, the devil's lettuce. Let's see, it was Memorial Day weekend of 2016. I was 15 years old, I was a freshman in high school. School. So all throughout junior high, I like really wanted to smoke, but like I was so innocent. I wasn't allowed to go out a whole lot as much as compared to my other friends. So my other friends were out there living their lives, getting lit, partying. I was not doing that. I was a competitive dancer. I was, I wasn't doing anything, but I had friends that like would like I had friends that smoked weed and like drink and stuff especially like my best friend at the time she's still one of my best friends her name's Sari but she would like smoke and shit and I like wanted to do that I wanted to feel that I like I just wanted that and so <laughs> Memorial Day weekend my best friend she's like you want to come out of town with me I'm like out of town yeah like where she's like my grandma's house it's like three hours up north she has a separate house on the property like we can stay in it like we'll have our own house basically and we could smoke weed i was like <sighs> smoke weed i was so hyped and i was like fuck yeah I want to go with you. I want to go out of town and be able to smoke the ganja. I'm trying to remember all the parts of the story because this was a long time ago. I'm almost 20 now and I was 15. This was like five years ago almost at this point. Oh, that's sweet. So I remember we went to school that Friday and we were going to be gone Friday and then come home that Monday or Tuesday, I believe. I'm pretty sure we came home on Memorial Day though. <laughs> That was a good one. My best friend's mom picked us up after school and my best friend, Sari, she was like, I, so we're gonna get the ganja, but we're gonna have to pick it up from the plug. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. But like, how are we gonna meet up with the plug? And like, don't we have to pay? And she was like, yeah, so it's gonna be 20 and we can just like meet up with him in our neighborhood once we get home, like before we leave. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. But like, do we have money? And she's like, well, I don't. I was like, oh, but I do. But it was money for the weekend, you see. My mother gave me 20 bucks and she was like, Jacqueline, this is for the weekend. I was like, I have that $20 bill, but it's for the weekend. Like, I don't know if I can use that. And she was like, don't even worry about it. Listen, my grandma, she's got you. You don't even have to worry about the 20 bucks. Just use it for the ganja. I was like, okay i guess so we rode longboards actually sari rode a longboard and i walked because i can't longboard she lives in like this huge neighborhood with a bunch of wide and roads and such so we went to like the end of the neighborhood and we met up with this guy don't remember his name but gave him my 20 and then he gave us a little swisher little swisher packet and inside of it was an eight and i was like yes like, oh my gosh, we have straight weed. This is insane. That's literal ganja. And I was like, damn, I can't believe this is happening to me tonight. And then we rode the longboards back to my friend's house. We went about the rest of the day. Flash forward, like six hours and we're at our destination hanging out with her grandparents and such and then it's time for us to go to bed and as i said earlier her grandma had like a separate house like a mother-in-law house on the property where me and sari were gonna be staying so like it was lit we just had our own crib and on our way out the door sari's like jack daddy and i'm like what she points and i look over and there's like a six pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade. My ninth grade self was like, oh, I'm getting fucked up tonight. I had never drank before. Definitely had never drank any alcohol before. Never smoked weed, nothing. Like I was having the time of my life. I was like, I'm gonna be a changed person after this weekend. <laughs> I think we each grabbed one so that it wasn't that sus because it looked like they had been sitting there for a while. So we each just grabbed one 
And then we went inside the house and we drank those and stuff. And we wanted to wait to smoke until like a little later, just like we knew her grandparents were in bed and just in case, you know. We drank the My Cards. I'm pretty sure I felt like a tiny little buzz just off the lemonade because my little self was just like so innocent. <laughs> I was living. And so after that, like we were both like, damn, we want to keep drinking. Like we want to keep going, but we can't take more mics because it's going to look sus. And so we go downstairs and there's like a little kitchen you know but like we don't really think there's gonna be anything in the fridge because like no one ever stays there really like it has like a lot of like storage kind of craft room upstairs it was like a low-key joint so we weren't expecting anything in the fridge but little did we know we opened that sucker up and there they were shining so bright Hella angry orchards. Yeah, I don't know. I was so excited. I was hyped. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. This is the good shit. This is the good juice. We grabbed like two each, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know, we each grabbed some and then we had to find a bottle opener, but we eventually found that. Brought those back upstairs and we, like, I tried drinking it. I definitely did not finish it because I didn't even like it. Just so funny. It was probably like a couple hours after, like, we, like, went into the house. Her grandparents were, like, definitely to bed by then. So she was like, I, it's time to smoke. <laughs> and she was, like, really excited, too, because she, like, had been wanting to smoke me out. She knew I had been wanting to get high. So we were both really hyped. Then we kind of ran into a little pickle. Not really a pickle. Like, she she was prepared for it. I wasn't because I had never smoked before. I didn't know what we were doing. I don't know. It didn't really process into my brain how we were going to smoke it. The only thing I was worried about was getting the goods. Then it got to the point in the night where we actually had to smoke it. And then I was like, well, wait, fuck. How do we do this? She didn't have a pipe. We didn't have a bong. We didn't have nothing. We moved on to... The good old water bottle. Mwah. And then we had to find a gum wrapper, which we eventually found. So that was good. Got that. You know, did the classic, whatever. Put that shit in. Well, my best friend did it. I wasn't doing that shit. I was just watching her. I was like, oh gosh, you're like a fucking, like an engineer or something. I don't even know what to describe you as. Like, but you're making crazy shit over there. She took a hit and I was like, whoa, she just did that. She's like, you ready? And I was like, yeah. And then she gave it to me. She gave everything to me. And I straight up was just like, the fuck do I do? Like, I didn't say that, but in my head, I was just like, <laughs> and she was like, do you want me to light it for you? I was like, yeah, I'm going to light it for you. Once you see the smoke, you're going to inhale and then hold it in for like just a couple seconds to make sure you definitely inhaled it and then let it go. And I was like, okay. And so she lit it for me. And it barely even hit. And I was like, huh, well, the fuck? that was kind of whack and so we did it again like it was a decent hit i just remembered like after that like after taking the hits the two hits i did i don't remember if i actually was stoned or not you know how you always hear people say i didn't get high my first time and i used to always say i did but the more i think about it i'm not sure that i did because I don't know, I just don't think I actually was. If I was, it was like very minimal, probably. The night went on, we woke up the next day, the day went on. We still had hella bud left. So the next night, we went again. We whipped out the water bottle. Pretty sure we had some more Angry Orchards. Did the whole thing again. But this time, um, we accidentally knocked the bowl out. Yeah. Ganja went everywhere. The leaves were all scattered all over the floor. Gosh, it was a crime. It was a crime scene. And we were like, holy shit, we gotta clean this fucking shit up. Like, this is where her grandma's sewing machine's at. She's gonna come up here trying to make a quilt. And she's just gonna be selling ganja the whole time. Like, no, that can't be happening. We cleaned it all up. We cleaned that shit up. We cleaned it good. Didn't leave a speck 
anywhere. Put it into the bowl. We stuffed her back up. We got her set and ready to go. Didn't light her again because I still did not know really what the fuck I was doing. But my best friend, Sari, lit that bowl for me. And then, brothers, I was fucking stoned. I was ready to go. I was so fucking stoned. And I honestly don't remember a whole lot of the night. I'm gonna be 100% honest, cause it was kind of a long time ago, but also I was pretty stoned for my first time. Like I just remember laying in bed. I'm sure Sarah remembers way better parts than me, but I remember laying there like staring at the ceiling, like thinking, oh my gosh, I have to Snapchat. I got out my phone and I Snapchatted my friend. I had orchestra with him and he was a big stoner and he was always talking about weed with me. And I always was telling him how badly I wanted to smoke. And I snapped chatted him and I just sent him a blurry picture of the ceiling and I was like I'm high and he just left me on red and I was so upset but I was like it's whatever I'm high and he doesn't care but I care so that's all that matters that's honestly not that exciting it's just kind of sweet nice to look back on Oh, something I did forget about though, my friend told me this probably a month after the trip. Her grandma knew that we were smoking. Apparently she came in to the house one of the nights, like downstairs, and we didn't hear her. She could smell the weed. She told Sari's mom, but she didn't care. She was just like, they're just experimenting. I was like, oh, that's good. She's a real one for that. <laughs> Let's take another one because I already finished this story and I only took one bong rip. The fuck? I'm sorry, y'all. Down stem almost came with that motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, after that, I honestly didn't really smoke that much. I probably only smoked like three other times throughout high school until I started smoking regularly my senior year. And here, I'll tell you guys really quick too about the first time that I got stoned when I started smoking regularly, cause I remember that good. Um, I was hanging out with this guy at the time. I can't remember like what we did before, but he was dropping me off at home. You know, he was dropping me off at my grandparents' house. And my grandparents' house, they're not, they're down with the ganja, but not 100%, not 100% down. He had a dab pen. And I, like, of course I wanted to like, seem cute and cool and whatever. And he's like, do you wanna like take a hit off my dab pen and get high? And I was like, yeah, like I can totally do that. Like my ass never taking a hit off a dab pen before. He handed it to me. He was like, and when you do it, hold it in for like five seconds and then exhale. And I was like, okay, like, uh. did that. I didn't take that long of a hit, but like I held it in for a pretty good amount of time. It didn't make necessarily make me more high it just murdered me it, my lungs my lungs got murdered and i just remember sitting there and i remember looking out his car window and then i would just remember thinking god fucking damn it why did i do that so i got out of the car he was like you good i was like yeah i'm fine so i started walking on the sidewalk to my grandparents house and i just remembered the sidewalk was just like it felt like it was kind of like it kind of felt like the sidewalk was like bouncing a little i got inside my nana was like how was it i was like fine and i just went straight upstairs and i remember i went to bed almost instantly i remember i got so <laughs> fucking stoned i don't even think i stayed up long enough to snapchat the guy again by the time he got home i literally think i just knocked and i I was so scared to make any eye contact or have to talk with my grandparents so i think i just passed out i'm pretty sure i put on cat in the hat and my ass just fucking passed out because i was so <laughs> scared those are the only two like first time kind of story times i can think of oh first time doing edibles the first time i did edibles that's not really a story time literally i just ate like half a brownie and then it didn't do anything, so I decided to do the other half, and then that was just a big mistake. And my best friend and I were having a sleepover in my basement downstairs. I don't really remember the whole night. Literally, all I remember is laying on my side and like moving my legs like I was riding a bike. I told my best friend that I was running away from her because she was trying to accuse me of being stoned when I wasn't actually stoned even though I was, I don't know. I was trying to act like I wasn't stoned for some reason. And I said that she was accusing me. 
I'm sorry if those were boring. I kind of expected them to be. Y'all just really wanted me to tell y'all about my first time smoking the ganja. I guess I told you about my first time hitting a dab pen too and my first time eating edibles. I don't really like edibles though. I like want to start making my own because the ones I get from Dispos, those ones are never get missed and I want to, I'm just going to make my own. Let me know if y'all want that as a YouTube video, me making edibles. Y'all should let me know in the comments what else y'all would want for YouTube videos because I want to keep posting consistently. I just don't know what to do. I have no idea what to post. Y'all let me know. Cheers. <coughs> oh my lord. I'm fucking boned. All right, homies. Buds. I fucking love y'all so fucking much. Thanks for joining me.